Two, two, one, one are the two you're going to see most often. Not very often that you're going to see a one, three, one. I guess I take that back. One, three, one is the other one. It's not. It's one, one, three that you won't see very often. Or one, three, one. One, three, one. If you see that run, it's going to be a trapping defense. They're going to want to get you the ball over here, and then they're going to want to move. This guy's job is going to be to play center field, and this guy on that is going to try to play the backside. But the key is to push the ball to the sidelines or the backcourt. If you can't get him in a corner, that's ideal for a trap. So, regardless of what somebody plays against us, how we set up is really close to the same. But usually what we see is a 2-1-2, two, two, so that's what we're going to go over. Okay? Where are we supposed to be? The other thing before I do that, whoever's throwing the ball in, check with the ref. Before you get the ball, am I allowed to move? Most of the time on most inbounds from the baseline, you are however you do have free range. The exception would be down low underneath your own basket. But if you're going down the full length of the court, you should have full range. Just don't get caught behind the basket. That's what you want. You want to move around. If you need to move to have people be able to move and get open, then use the full thing. Just make sure you don't cross the end line. But where are we supposed to set up? If we're getting pressed? Yeah. The free throw. Come here and show me. Here and here. Okay, where else? That's normal, right? Yeah. I want one of you to try to be behind your man and one to be in front. If he won't let you be behind him, then take him all the way down here to make it a four on four. Because we need a little bit more space if we can on a press break. And so if if he lets you get behind him, if he's okay with you being behind him, say say it's not there, say he pushes you all the way here, that's fine too. But one side, that'd be bench side, we'll call it bench side, whatever side our benches are on in the table, score table, that's the side I want deep. Usually it's left side. Okay? Whatever side it is, I don't care here. <laughs> I'll just tell you. Okay? Yeah. So whatever side it's on, I don't care, go ahead. They move back here, these people, because this guy's... I'll tell you in a minute. minute. I'll tell you what to do in a minute. So, again, what's our goal here on any press break? What's the purpose? Get to the middle. We need to get the ball to the middle in this area here. Because what that will create at that point is a... That's pretty. Three on two. Okay? Because you're going to... The defenders are all going to be down here. Their purpose is to pressure ball. And normally in this kind of press, often what these guys will do is turn around and face these guys. So that they watch which way they're going and they're going to just hedge off to block off that pass. Don't be afraid to get the ball over here and do a back cut once in a while. Just make sure if you're the one running the back cut, you're not the one on the side with another guy right there. Because ideally in this situation, I just drew exactly what we want to do. Normally what, we, what we're going to do is this, right? Okay? So... If, if, and this again, we've got to be aware of our other teammates when we're on the court. If you see that whoever's down here has pulled their man way past half court, that's your key to know that that side man, instead of when the pick comes over, we're going to do the same kind of pick. But instead of going here, you're going to go right here. And the ball just needs to go over the top. And then the ball needs to be dribbled immediately into the, the zone. And then we have it. And then this guy's probably going to bite, so that way, yeah. Yeah. Fast break. But if, if you just keep going, again, the pass is going to get to where he's going to think he can cut it off. So he's going to be behind you. I promise he'll be behind you when you catch it, and you're just off to the races. Any questions? No. What if you get trapped here? Huh? What if you get trapped here? Who's going to trap you there? I don't know. Because I'm saying if you start looking to move the ball before and this guy cuts off, you do cut down. Or okay, sit. Show me what. Show me which guy. If what guy goes where. If this defender starts to move up, because you're well, looking okay. for the long pass. Let's start. Let's start on what his job is. This guy's job is to play center field from this line this way. Yeah. So if he moves back here. If he moves back here. And you cut there. You cut to any open spot. Well, if you wanted to get the ball. To sure. Middle, right? so. But what what kind of pass are you going to throw over to here? It has to be a lob, and then that gives people a chance to recover. 
We need quick passing, almost like you were doing the other day on like those quick drills. We need that kind of movement to break the press. What's that move that opens the chest? But again, what we're doing here, what, what, what I just set up is not a what if. If you see the guys lined up like this, and this guy pulls this guy, this guy, that's, you gotta communicate somehow if he doesn't notice whoever's right here, needs to understand that instead of the cut going here and here and, and this off the, the cut back, it's a boom, boom, back cut. Again, you're just gonna find the soft spot wherever we're able to create a gap in the zone, because that's really what this is. It's not, a press is not anything fancier than a zone. It's a zone. That's all press is. Unless they run a straight man full court press, which you don't see at this level, you only really see that in the NBA, because it's not that effective. All it does is slow, it, it's effective if you're dealing with the shot clock. That's where you're effective with that. But on a, again, on a press, most of the time what we're gonna see is a 1-3-1 one, one, or a 2-1-2. Two, one, two. Those are the two most common. 1-3-1, one, one, same kind of thing. We're gonna have a guy here, his job is to, in essence, laterally ball hog. I'm talking about the defense's job. Then you're gonna have three. Sometimes they stagger it a little bit. This is still a three if they're all outside the key. One, three, and he could be anywhere in this range. And then one is gonna be always play the middle. So in this, we can have the same configuration, only this is what, I don't even remember the name of the team. This is what they ran all the game and what I kept telling you guys. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying, because if, right? if he cuts down and he but follows here's the key. And... Who's standing here and who's standing here? Big people. Right, not ball handlers. So if the ball goes to there, it's not, this is my chance. That's it's not it. Turn and look. Okay. For guard to come I, want, I want both, if, if the ball goes over the top, you guys need to notice this, whoever's here and here, and I, then you guys need to crisscross through the middle to fill the lanes. And then as soon as you get one of them open, the ball needs to go to the middle. I don't care which one it is. And then it becomes a four on two fast break. And so the key on a four on two is since these are the leaders of the pack, they need to be the ones going all the way to these blocks on the cuts. This one, if they catch the ball, they're gonna be dribbling and they're gonna be pushing the ball to put pressure on the defense to make it, because they're gonna be less defenders. They're only gonna be two, or one maybe even. Um, if he gets back, then there'll be two. But he'll be trailing the whole play, okay? And so the key is here, the ball's here. Okay, so again, this is the ball. This cutter needs to slow down and time themselves to either be a spot up three or the trailer. So if the ball goes, say the ball goes down here and then the defense collapses, then we can have two flashers here, somewhere in this range, so that we, we, we're gonna get a bucket either way. But again, the key is to get the ball to the middle, whether it starts to there, or it starts to there, or we have to run the normal pick action and we just have to get open. But again, what if the ball goes here? Let's say he cuts, he cuts down here and now the ball's here. Now what? You need to cut through the middle and the ball should go right back to the one passing it in. Can you see? Okay. Any questions? Set it up.